Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. This is part two of the video series on the 890 Jump mission. Um, and it's kind of a funny story. We actually attempted this mission somewhat today and failed miserably. Um, so we're going to have to refine some of our techniques. And I think we kind of jumped the gun a little bit, got a little impatient. And uh, we weren't exactly as methodical as we probably should have been, but we were just trying it out to see how it would uh, look, how it would work. And uh, we, as a group of us, there was about five of us, five or six of us, and we failed miserably. So this is the 890 jump, prep two. So we're going to start off by breaching the side airlock. We've already done all of our reconnaissance and know which entries, uh, which places to enter. Uh, we can go through and so we're gonna start walking through how to assault this 890 jump so when you get into this area here as you'll see as I walk through it this time so we just came through the airlock we're gonna walk through the airlock and into this corridor that has a matching corridor to the matching airlock on the aft side I'm sorry, starboard side. And then to the aft there is the elevator that will take you out of the ship. So three of the entry points meet right here. So when you secure this area, there's hardly ever any guards here. I don't think I've ever seen a guard here. Now there are, you are usually guards inside this door here. So you have to take out anybody that's on this lower level here. And you can do some recon right above it to see, but I recommend uh, after you take out any guards right there, you run into the bedrooms on either side and make sure those are clear for bad guys. And it's always good that you do this in at least pairs. And then from here, we're going to scramble across the middle there. We can still use cover here because those guys can't shoot us from up above, they can't shoot through the glass. And we'll check out the other bathroom, or bedroom, sorry, and the bathroom. Again, it never goes as, uh, as planned, so you have to plan for the unplannable. <laughs> and again, we'll run through the center of the atrium towards the back. And this is where the escape pods are. Instead of going through the escape pod, there's a little engineering elevator here. We're going to take it down. Sometimes the hacking computer can be right here. So if it is, then we can go ahead and disarm it. So we'll go down to engineering. And you could be doing this while another team is assaulting from the other side, which I'll show you here in a minute. So you'll make a walk here through this engineering section. Actually, you could probably run. And you may want to wait before you open this door until somebody else is ready because there's always bad guys in here. Um, and if you're coming down the stairs, they tend to take you out quicker than you can take them out. So it's good if you can attack from both ends. So somebody can attack from the top here and somebody can attack from the bottom. Once you've taken out everybody in the cargo bay there, you can push forward through the ship. You saw there was a guest elevator there. Right now we're just going to bypass that. This is the med bay. There's sometimes the computer uh, hacking computer is in here. So you need to check it and make sure there's nothing in there. This a little uh, lobby area, or waiting area, lounge area. And can you continue forward? And this is the forward hangar deck. And hopefully, if you have somebody that's sniping from the outside or shooting from the outside, they will have cleared that of bad guys. I was capable of doing that by myself in our little walk through the mission earlier. But um, but I wasn't able to clear a lot of other places. We we just lost too many people too uh, too quickly. So this is assaulting from the other side. 
That's the starboard airlock. And here we can make a run to this other engineering section. There's an engineering ladder that'll take you all the way down to engineering. So where you saw us come up the stairs, you're at the top of the stairs here. That door straight ahead, that's where we came in earlier. So if you have a team attacking from this side and a team attacking from the other side, you should be able to make quick work of any bad guys that are in the cargo hold. So we'll call this elevator up, down, wherever we're at. Go ahead and enter. And now we can go up to the crew deck. Or maybe we'll go to the escape pods instead. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so, the, yeah, that's the escape raft. That puts us here in the atrium area. There's never any bad guys in here, so you really don't even need to check this area. I mean, you may can send one guy there while your your troops are, you know, regrouping to check everything out here. But there's, there's never even a computer... Uh, that, a hacking computer in here, so you usually don't need to check this this area out. But this is where things get really tricky uh, when you're assaulting the lobby here. I recommend one person just blow right past this area here and keep going up while others come out behind them and shoot the guys that are most likely aiming for them. But you take out all the guys on this level. There could be some guys at the top as well, so that could be an issue. But if you can send your send one team down here and one team up top, that would be more ideal. Of course, you're going to search these bedrooms for hacking computers and bad guys. And there's one on the other side as well. So you'll go through here and clear these two areas. Keep in mind, once you step foot in this ship, you have four minutes to find the hacking computer. So, time is of the essence, and if you're doing it with multiple people, uh, it's best to split up as long as you, you know, can cover one another. I mean, you can definitely do this solo, but it's not going to be easy. There's a lot of ship to cover. There's usually some bad guys in here. Possibility of the hacking computer. This is something you can scout out beforehand and know if there's bad guys in there if you do your recon and so another team can go up into the bridge area and secure the bridge you could also send somebody to the captain quarters which was on the opposite side and see if there's a hacking computer there or any bad guys in there um, I haven't seen that but that's not to say it won't happen so that's the basic run through of trying to find the hacking computer and where all the bad guy locations are. I hope you guys like this video. I hope to have some live footage of us doing this mission for you soon. Uh, if you like it, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I put out another one. I'm Muddog with the Texas Space Navy. I'll see you out in the verse.